Welcome back guys to another video and yesterday Bitner released their newest Antminer called Antminer V9. So Antminer V9 is supposed to be the entry level Antminer compared to the S9 and S9 as you can see right here is doing 13.5 terahashes per second compared to V9 that is doing only 4 terahashes per second. But the thing is that V9 costs only $345 compared to S9 that costs $2300. So S9 is 7 times more expensive for only 3 times more performance. So you might think that this is a good deal then the, to buy Antminer V9 for $345, but one thing that it sucks at is power consumption. As you can see in this uh, table right here, it's using 10 it's using 1027 watts plus maybe additional 10%. So Using 1000 watts for only 4 terahashes per second is actually almost the same as the Antminer S7 that came out more than 3 years ago. So this might actually be some reduced Antminers S7 that they didn't sell and they just rebranded them as Antminers V9, but nobody can tell you that for sure. So how profitable are they and are they even worth your money? So if we take a look once again at Antminer S9 and, he, and that miner is using 1200 watts of power and if we enter those numbers into the profitability calculator right here we can see with its 13 terahashes of power and 1200 watts of power consumption with power cost of 15 cents per kilowatt uh, per kilowatt hour we can see that it's currently making five dollars and sixteen cents per day and to pay that miner fully back you'll need about one year compared to end miner v9 the newest model as you can see it's doing 4 terahashes and 1000 watts of power and if we enter that into the calculations we can get that you are actually losing 70 cents per day. So that miner is actually not profitable at all at current Bitcoin value and Bitcoin would need to go to about $10,000 for it to be profitable. And even if V9 would be profitable in just a little way they still wouldn't use them because they would need 3 of them for one S9. So this miner is probably to fight a little bit against the centralization of mining in China because 70% of Bitcoin mining comes out of China and they probably want to give chance to other smaller miners that maybe don't have a few thousand dollars to invest in Bitcoin mining and they just want to throw a few hundred dollars in it and see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the next video and see you soon.